Hi, I'm Frederick Thailand. I'm the lead designer for Tom Clancy's The Division 2. I'm here to share with you the updates coming with Episode 1. Firstly, we are continuing the main narrative, adding two new main missions that take place in unique locations outside Washington, D.C. Manning National Zoo and Camp White Oak. Now that the Division has established a foothold over the Capitol, you have the opportunity to go after Emmeline Shaw and President Ellis. A brand new PvE experience in the form of Expeditions is also included, allowing you to take on unique gameplay puzzles and fight new challenging bosses as you seek to uncover secrets of a missing convoy. In addition, for Year 1 pass holders, you'll have access to two new classified assignments, both allowing you to further uncover the story of the virus in Washington, D.C. Exotics also feature in the update, with a Diamondback, a lever-action rifle, and Black Tusk-enhanced BTSU data gloves, adding to the two new weapons, the Carbine 7 and the Stoner LMG, expanding the equipment available to your agent. The update also brings with it an overhaul of skills. We know these are something that need to empower agents, Thus, we've looked at each skill, fine-tuning their power and increasing their importance in your builds. Crafting has also seen changes, with the introduction of crafting gear up to gear score 500, the ability to share blueprints across characters, and recalibrate crafted gear and weapons. We've also added the Shepherd reward system, rewarding players for their effort of supporting other agents. In addition, flashlights have also been introduced. Finally, Discovery difficulty has been added to the Operation Dark Hours Raid, bringing matchmaking with it, ensuring that more agents can attempt to take back Washington National Airport from the Black Tusk. However, this is just a highlight of the content and changes coming, as there's even more included in Episode 1. Jouer sur Xbox One.